Hi, my name is Richard Duffy. I am the Asia Pacific General Manager for Enterprise and I'm also the Product Evangelist. What I'd like to do in today's session is show you something that I know many of you have been looking forward to uh, for quite a while and the guys in the Enterprise Product Labs have been working away very, very diligently to get this functionality available. Some of you may have seen that we had it promised to you for uh, this period of time in our product roadmap and I'm very, very pleased to announce that the functionality is now available in your enterprise deployment. And that functionality is the ability to map your user-defined fields in SAP Business One across to enterprise. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly take you through and show you exactly how you do that. So you will be aware that uh, Enterprise is a web-based um, and mobile-first solution. So what I thought I'd do, just to mix things up a little bit, is I thought I would show you exactly how flexible Enterprise is. And we have been doing a lot of work with a lot of companies in um, some of, the, uh, some of the, the newer markets in the world. And some of those newer markets are really focused on how do they drive down the total cost of ownership of their solution? How do they deploy SAP Business One and how do they deploy enterprise and that functionality that enterprise delivers out to their people at as low a cost as possible. So with that in mind, I'm actually doing today's session running on a Raspberry Pi. And a Raspberry Pi, as you are probably aware, is a very, very low cost mini PC. Runs Linux uh, and uh, is very, very uh, easy to deploy, very, very simple. So again, bear in mind, everything I'm doing today, I'm just running purely on the Chromium web browser on a Raspberry Pi device. And you'll actually see that some of you may have already pick that up from looking at the screen right now. So you'll see I've already logged into my enterprise solution and I have all the standard functionality that's available in enterprise. But in order to map through your user-defined fields now, you need to go in here into settings. And once you're in here in your settings and you'll see this is where you add and you edit your settings for your organization. Now you're also seeing a, a little bit of extra work that our team has been doing. You'll see some of these pop-ups and, and things like that. That's because we've been doing some work to make enterprise even easier to use and we will be very, very shortly launching our Walk Me guided user experience. So you're gonna see a little bit of a sneak preview of that as I record this video as well. So when I'm, once I'm here in my settings, you'll see you now have an option here called custom fields. So when you click on custom fields, you'll now see that we have enabled user-defined fields in a number of these objects. And that's, remember, that's what we call the master files and the transactions in SAP Business One that you can access through Enterprise. We call them objects. So you'll see right now we have our opportunities, our sales, our purchase, service, activity, delivery, and partner objects. So for example, let's say you've created some user-defined fields in your business partner master file. Let's quickly go and take a look in SAP Business One. And again, same scenario here, running SAP Business One in the web browser using the web browser client again on Raspberry Pi. Um, so I'm able to go in here into my tools and I go into my customization tools and we'll go into our user-defined fields and we go into our management option here. And you'll see under my master data, I have created under my business partners, I've already created two existing um, user-defined fields. The business scenario here is I've decided that I wanna start recording loyalty program details inside my SAP Business One. So I've got a loyalty level, is the customer gold, silver, or bronze in terms of their loyalty? And then I've also deployed a loyalty point scheme. So I'm also recording the loyalty points uh, accrual that the customer has. So you'll see, if I go in here and we look at this, you'll see that I actually have my loyalty level, which is an alphanumeric field, and my loyalty points value, which is a quantity field. So if I go in here and let's take a quick look at the, that, uh, that field in SAP Business One. And you can see here it is, I've got bronze, silver, and gold. Well, I'm gonna add a new option in here and I'm gonna actually have a platinum level. So let's just quickly go in here and we'll say that's platinum. And we'll update that. So that's now been changed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an additional value in here now. So I'll go in here and I'll say add. 
and I'm going to have loyalty level date because what I want to do is I want to record the date at which the customer transitioned across into that new loyalty level and this is a date and time field so I simply select that that it is a date and time field I tell it my structure which is purely a date field and then I'll say add so now I've added an extra new user-defined field here in along with my existing uh, user-defined fields so now when I go in and I look at my business partner in my business partner master data you'll see now I have my uh, my different loyalty points um, values here so if I go and I call up an existing customer and I'm going to go and pick my favorite which most of you will probably know by now is Earthshaker and so I've got my record for Earthshaker here and you'll see right now they're actually set to gold they've got 30,000 loyalty points and their loyalty level date uh, they hit the gold level on June the 12th 2017 so we'll select that and then we'll go ahead and we'll do an update so you can see I've got those standard uh, SAP business one user defined fields so let's then go across into enterprise and what you're going to see in enterprise is that um, when you go in here under partners you'll see that enterprise will then give you the option to come in and it will say all right you have 20 available custom fields now here's an important point to note we are giving you 20 user-defined fields available per object so 20 for business partners 20 for deliveries 20 for activities 20 for sales and so on and so forth so you can utilize those custom fields and you can just use them to store data inside enterprise or you can do what we're doing here which is linking them across so that they retrieve and save their data from the SAP Business One user-defined fields. So you can see I've already got my two user-defined fields here. I've got my loyalty program level, which is a string field. I've got my loyalty points value field, which is a, a data type of double. And so what's telling me that I've already used two, and you can see those there. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna now add another custom field. So important point to note, the order in which you add these custom fields will be the order in which they appear inside Enterprise. So again, you have the ability to tell it whether or not you want it to display on the forms that are linked to that business object in Enterprise. So the default would normally be, yes, you do want to do that. So then I'll have in here, I'll put in my loyalty points date. And then I'll go in here and I ask it, what kind of data type is it? So now it's important that you make sure that you do select the correct data type. Because for example, if I'm working with a date field in SAP Business One and I put in a string field here, when I go to try and select the custom field in SAP, it's not going to show up. So this is a date field. So I select the date field. And so you'll see when I click on the drop down list here, uh, what I will then get to see is any of the user defined fields against that object which match that data type so you'll see there it is there's my loyalty level date so I select that and now I hit save and that is basically it it's that simple now what you'll now see is if I go in for example into my partners which is where I can go and define and edit my customers suppliers and leads as you can see from our little tooltip here when I go and I retrieve my um, partner record for Earthshaker, and let's go in and we'll grab that. So here's Earthshaker, and then I go here and I select Company Details, drills me down to the specific business partner record, and then of course from here, you'll notice if we scroll down on the screen, you'll see there are my custom fields all set there. I've got my, um, my loyalty program level, my loyalty points value, and my loyalty points date. So if I go in here and choose edit, what this will now enable me to do, of course, it will now enable me to go in and make changes in the record which will automatically then go across into SAP Business One. So let's say for example I decided that they've actually hit Platinum. So again I'll go and select the Platinum level 
and it was like today's date that they hit that platinum level so today's june the set june um the 16th 2017 so i'll select that date and then all i need to do is hit the save option and so you get your message telling you that the business partner record has been saved and then you come back in and you can see here now that our loyalty points date has been updated to the 16th of June 2017. So it's basically that simple. The, um, the process of creating those user-defined fields is as you normally do it in SAP Business One. And then remember, all you need to do is go into Enterprise and just tell the system when you're creating those custom fields here in your settings and you're in your custom fields, you're in your the object, all you need to do when you are adding that user-defined field is remember there are two choices. You can keep the user-defined field and just have it storing the data in Enterprise or you can go ahead and link that back into SAP Business One simply by choosing the custom field uh, that, that has been created in SAP Business One. So there you have it, user defined fields in our roadmap, delivered on time and ready for you to use. If you'd like more information about Enterprise or uh, if you need some assistance with configuring your Enterprise system, then remember, of course, you can reach out to me. My email address is rduffy at enterprise.com. Uh, and you can see that across here on the side. But of course, don't forget if you need support, you can reach out to our support team at support at enterprise.com or of course visit our website at www.enterprise.com uh, and take advantage of the chat facility that's there on the website. Thanks very much.